much for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel, Abiding in Him Daily. I'm Erica, and today I have a recipe for you. Um, it is featuring spaghetti squash again, um, something that we truly love. It is a very quick S meal that you can throw together or fat-based meal that you can throw together for your family that won't have you in the kitchen uh, for a very long time. So that's why I have on my apron, have my cup of tea, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and uh, keep on watching. I'll show you how to make it. Okay, guys, so we're going to start off this process in my new favorite appliance which is the pressure cooker we are putting three pounds of ground turkey as you can see it is 15 percent fat so this is going to be an s meal and i'm just showing you that it's three pounds here so we'll be opening this up here in just a moment and adding it to the pressure cooker i'm going to start with two cups of water with the pressure cooker you don't need a lot of liquid so just two cups to three pounds once i get it open you'll see that this um, ground turkey is completely frozen and that's what I so love about this pressure cooker you don't even have to thaw anything out so it really really does cut down on the time as you can see here just showing you completely frozen just gonna stick this in to the pressure cooker and uh, I did realize that I didn't have it plugged up <laughs> we need power for it to work so I'm gonna plug that up then I will get it all sealed and the top put on and then we're gonna set the timer to 20 minutes and we're gonna let this do its thing. Okay, so you'll see me here setting the timer and sealing the vent there. And then I'm gonna let this sit and then move on to start to prepare my squash. Okay, so now here we are with the spaghetti squash. It is a medium size. I've already cut it in half. This is how it looked prior to cutting it, so you can see the size. What I'm going to do is take a spoon and go in the middle here to remove all that stuff in the inside, right in the middle. We're going to leave the outside just removing the seeds and that other gook that's around the seeds. This process literally took maybe one minute for both sides, so I'm going to show you how I do it. I have a little paper towel on the side to um, take whatever I scoop out and have somewhere to put it. So I'm going to show you this full process just in case um, any of you guys out there have never made a spaghetti squash. Today I'm making it in the oven. In my past video I did make it in the crock pot. So I'm going to show you that as well. Right now my oven is preheating to 350 degrees while I'm doing the scraping out. Total prep time for this entire uh, meal was 10 minutes. It took about 40 minutes of cook time. So very quick. So just continuing to scrape out, scrape out. And then once um, I'm done scraping everything, I'm just gonna show you here how the middle is removed, but the sides are still in place. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna start to work on the second side. I won't show you all that footage. We'll kind of skip ahead here to where we're down to the end. And in just a moment, I'll begin to place this, both of these sides into my pyrex i have a 9 by 13 pyrex dish that i pre-sprayed with cooking spray i'm going to place those face down head over to the oven for them to bake for 30 minutes okay while that's done while that's in the oven rather our meat is done it was on for 20 minutes so now I'm just going into the pressure cooker with a potato masher. You guys know how I love to use that to break up meats or to stir things and mix things. It's just a very good thing to have in your kitchen even if you don't eat potatoes. Um, taking it here, just going through and mashing the meat to kind of separate it. In a second here, once I'm done kind of mashing it as well as I can, I'm going to drain the liquid, the remaining liquid that's in the pressure cooker, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So there it is all drained, and the meat is all broken up before I add any of my seasoning. So I'll show you that. Um, you guys kind of know the drill as far as the seasonings. Um, they're pretty much the same as what I always use. Starting with a little sea salt, 
I don't really measure you guys so you want a salt to taste for your family this was three pounds of meat so I was kind of just slightly liberal with it next we have onion powder I use this liberally it adds a lot of flavor and I usually use this in every dish especially dishes that I have meat in and then we're going to add uh, some Italians no oh, we're using garlic powder first not a lot of garlic powder um, garlic can be strong so I put a little bit in for flavor but not too much now we have the Italian seasoning I'm gonna put a few shakes in there like I said I don't measure when it comes to seasoning so do it based on your preference here I have my uh, marinara sauce that I got from Costco that um, is no sugar added we're going to put that right into the pressure cooker as well I'm going to go back to my handy dandy potato masher and mix all of this stuff in once that's all added and mixed well I'm going to put the top back on the pressure cooker and allow the juices to and everything to marinate for another two minutes I'm not trying to cook it because the meat is fully cooked okay now so my spaghetti squash is now done and I'm just showing you guys how you lift the noodle type inside out of the spaghetti squash. Don't do like I did, let yours cool. I had to get an oven mitt because it was still very hot. Uh, for the sake of the video, I wanted to continue. But um, do let yours cool off at least 10 minutes or so. So now I'm just using a fork to lift the inside out. And you'll see how it is a noodle type consistency right on its own. So that's how it looks gonna finish lifting that all out with my fork and this is how it will look after you've scraped it all out now to add it to a bowl put it in a bowl add your meat sauce to a bowl and then you want to begin to plate this up starting at the bottom with your spaghetti squash put your meat sauce on top a little parmesan and it was so 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 yummy so let me know if you guys try this um, I hope you guys do enjoy this and let me know in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching.